My name is Dr. Michael Kiplanga Cheruyot. I'm the County Chief Officer for Livestock, Fisheries and Veterinary Services, Nakuru. First and foremost, let me thank all of you for turning up because this is a very, very important meeting or a press conference where we want to sensitize the public. First, let me begin by saying that um, Lake Nakuru has got a history. For many years, it has remained saline. And that is why we have had flamingos. Lake Nakuru is surrounded by rivers, or there are quite a number of rivers feeding Lake Nakuru. Although it is saline, it is believed that it has an underground seepage. That is an uh, underground uh, out outlet. Now, let me begin by saying that the fish in Lake Nakuru is not fit for human consumption. Research has been going on for many years. And research done is on different, uh, different ways. One, sampling has been done on the waters in Lake Nakuru. Number two, sampling has been done on the fish itself. And the recent research indicates, and this is, I'm talking of the, uh, the research results uh, of 2022. These results, when you look at them, and I have them with me, the results indicate that the fish has got high toxicity. Toxicity means high levels of chemicals. And in this case, I'm talking of chemicals called organochlorine pesticides. Organochlorine pesticides are found in high levels in the fish itself and also in the waters. These results indicate that under all circumstances, the fish from Lake Nakuru is not fit. It is not fit because they have done analysis, as I have said, they pick 30 fish, 30 pieces of fish from different corners of the lake. And they did analysis. Analysis was done in different institutions. They did them in Egerton. They also did them in Kefri. They also did them in Capete, veterinary food veterinary laboratories. And in those laboratories, they gave almost similar results. The pesticides, which I'm talking about, which are in high levels, are in different types. They collected 16 different types of pesticides. And these pesticides are harmful. They are harmful to our bodies. Therefore, today, we want to send a warning in form of sensitizing our people that fish in Lake Nakuru is not fit for human consumption. And I'm talking of Nakuru city itself. The, the fish which is from Lake Nakuru is finding its way to the, to the city and the environs. The farmers around, that is in Kapkures, Barut, Nakuru East, Nakuru West, and even up to parts of Njoro and Rogai, they are consuming fish from Lake Nakuru. And as you heard later, earlier, you heard that this fish is going all the way up to Nairobi. And people are consuming unknowingly. They are consuming this fish unknowingly. Of interest is that around Lake Naivasha, the same fish from Lake Nakuru is transported up to the landing beaches. And as a result, the public do not know that this is from Lake Nakuru. Some of it is from Lake Naivasha, and once it is mixed, 
it is purported to be clean fish and it is not the case. We are now saying to the public, please refrain. Because apart from the pesticides, we also have what we call heavy metals. Heavy metals are like arsenic, lead, mercury, and others. These are metals which are so harmful to our bodies. They cause liver cancer and other types of cancers. So we are, we are actually urging the public that they should do away with this. I know there is a lot of, a lot of illegality which is going on, and this is not good at all, at all. Earlier on, the, warden, the senior warden here, the director, indicated that the fish from Lake Nakuru are black in color. Those from other lakes are not black. That is the physical appearance. Otherwise, it is very difficult. That is why we are warning the, uh, the public. And for us to be sure that the fish coming from Lake Nakuru is not the one coming from Lake Naivasha. We normally keep a movement permit. If you find fish from this area or fish intercepted between Nakuru and Naivasha with no permit, that is illegal. We issue movement permit for legally harvested fish, which is found in Lake Nakuru, is Nile tilapia. Nile tilapia is the fish found in Lake Nakuru. Scientifically, it is called Olecromius niloticus. That is the fish from Lake Nakuru. But commonly, Nile tilapia. During uh, El Nino rains, we find the waters had moved out of the lake and they spill over to Barut areas, mm -hmm. the villages. In fact, a number of people were displayed, displaced. Now, the fish which were found there, all we are saying is that whatever kind of fish, it is still not fit, not fit for human consumption because mm -hmm. it came from the lake. Mm -hmm. It's only that the waters rose and uh, they pushed the fish outside. Mm -hmm. Let me say that uh, there was no politics on this. Because science, uh, the way we take science is not political. The fish they are talking about was collected not scientifically. You know, when you are doing scientific sampling, it is different from somebody who has just picked fish floating in the water and taking it to laboratory. The fish which was taken to a regional veterinary investigation laboratory here in Nakuru, uh, it was analyzed, but the analysis which was taken or which was done is not good enough to say that the fish is fit for human consumption. The laboratory in Nakuru could not do the, um, the toxicological, toxicological is actually the inner and the, what is now telling us that the fish is not fit for consumption. So like, um, the regional lab here cannot do toxicological or chemical analysis. What they did was bacterial analysis. They sampled the skin and part of the muscle. And what they found was only bacteria. And this bacteria is the normal flora, which is found on the skin of a human being and also on the skin of the fish. So when they saw that it is only the bacteria, the people who took it assumed that the fish is fit for human consumption. But as I said earlier, the fish or rather the analysis, which was done in 2022, included the toxicology or the chemical analysis, whereby it was found that it had 16 pesticides. 
in that in the fish, the 30 pieces of fish which was sampled from Lake Nakuru. So it was found clearly that what they contain in their tissues is not fit because these are high levels. And they, the standard they use was the European Union standard, which was over one in terms of the standard. And that one percent which was shown is beyond the limits for human consumption.